Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to share my interview experience of CMI 2023. So first stage was uh, a written exam. There was MCQ section and subjective sections. After that only 15 students got selected for interview. I was one of them and then after taking interview only 5 students got selected for final admission and I was one of them. So I finally got admission for master's program in CMI. CMI is Chennai Mathematical Institute. I think it is known to all. So today I am going to share my interview questions which they asked me in my interview. I hope this will help many students for preparing interview. So first, first they asked me my favorite topic. I told group theory. So they start asking me questions from group theory. So first question was let G be a group having every element of finite order. What can you say about order of G? Is it necessarily finite or it can be infinite? So I told that no sir it may be infinite then they asked me uh, to give an example I told Q mod Z I told that Q mod Z has every element of finite order but uh, the group itself is infinite order have infinite order then the second question was example of a group having every having a element of every natural number then I told that this uh, Q mod Z also works as an example because if I take 1 by n plus Z this is an element in Q mod Z and these elements as order n in Q mod Z. Q mod Z is a abelian group under addition. So since n is arbitrary if we can choose any natural number n then we can have an element of order n. Then they ask me example of a group having every non-trivial element same order. So I gave an example that power set of natural number with respect to symmetric difference. Then they ask me why are you giving such example. Uh, I told them sir I could not remember uh, any other example so I gave it. Then they ask me what is symmetric difference is. I tell the definition of a symmetric difference. and also told the properties of this group that identity element is empty set here and every element is self inverse. Then they ask me can you think uh, an infinite vector space over the field Z2. Then I told yes sir if I can take uh, countable copies of Z2 co uh, countable copies of Z2 and if I see the direct product of these copies that it is an infinite abelian group under addition and every non-trivial element has order 2. Then they ask me power set of natural number with respect to symmetric difference and this countable product of Z2 are they isomorphic. So I start thinking for some time and then I reply that yes sir this is isomorphic. And then they ask me to give, the, give an explicit isomorphism. I told that the power set of natural numbers consists of all subsets of natural number. So if I take a subset A of if I take a subset of natural number then under my isomorphism f of A of them before that I told that uh, countable copies of Z2 this can be think as a binary sequence. I mean uh, this this a, any element of this uh, this group can be think as a uh, can be thought as a binary element like uh, it is a sequence such that every term is either 0 or 1. So if I choose a subset of power set of natural number n say the subset is a then f of a maps to the sequence xn where definition of xn should be this if n belongs to a then xn equal to 1 if n does not belongs to a then xn equal to 0 
as an example say my a is 1 2 3 8 this is the subset of natural number consisting of four elements 1 2 3 8 then the corresponding sequence will be in the corresponding sequence in countable copies of z2 that will be 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 so on that means since 1 belongs to a x1 is 1 2 belongs to a x2 is 1 3 belongs to a x3 is 1 4 5 6 7 does not belong to a so x4 x5 x6 x7 are 0 8 belongs to a so x8 is 1 and all the other terms does not belong to a so all the other terms are 0 then they told me yes this is correct then they ask me example of a group having element of every natural number as well as an element of infinite order so i told uh, if i can take set of all non zero complex number under multiplication then it works because here if i choose nth root of unity then that has ordered n also if i can take element 2 element 2 has odd infinite order in um, set of all non-zero complex number under multiplication then they ask me example of a non-abelian group having same property i was start uh, i i start thinking and then i reply that i can take set of all non-zero complex number under multiplication cross s3 <laughs> then they started laughing and told me you are so clever yes this example also works so okay so we can move to linear algebra i told yes sir so my first question was basic question they asked me definition of diagonalize diagonalization eigenvalue eigenvector these was trivial question so i did not mention it here then they asked the question find number of conjugacy classes of elements of order 2 in gl2 -R. First they asked me, do you know the definition of conjugacy class? I told them, yes sir, I know. Then they asked me, find a number of conjugacy classes of element of order 2 in GL2R. So this was uh, a nice question. I start thinking of this question. First they asked me, first they tell me that this has order 2. Here the matrix has order 2. Then uh, definitely uh, A square equal to identity. A square equal to identity since a square equal to identity then x square minus 1 is an annihilating polynomial for that matrix a so minimal polynomial of this matrix either x square minus 1 or x minus 1 or x plus 1 now if uh, minimal polynomial is x minus 1 then matrix is basically identity matrix and identity matrix has order 1 so we should not take it because here it is asked about order 2 element so only we have only two possibilities if minimal polynomial is x square minus 1 and another case minimal polynomial is x plus 1 now if minimal polynomial is x plus 1 that is basically uh, minus identity matrix now any any matrix which is inside the conjugacy class of minus i matrix that looks like p minus identity p inverse which is basically minus identity so the conjugacy class of minus identity matrix is basically single term and since x square minus 1 is a annihilating polynomial sorry is minimal polynomial and minimal polynomial is product of distinct linear factors so it is diagonalizable and eigenvalues are 1 and minus 1 so any matrix which is in this conjugacy class and satisfying this property then it must be similar to the diagonal matrix with diagonal end is 1 and minus 1 so it has exactly two conjugacy classes and the sir asked me yes this is correct but first tell me why uh, if you take uh, if you take a diagonal matrix with diagonal end is 1 and minus 1 so say you have a diagonal matrix d1 where first uh, first row diagonal end is 1 and second row diagonal end is minus 1 and if you have matrix where first row diagonal matrix is minus 1 and second row diagonal matrix is 1 so according to you both are similar right why is it, is it so i told that yes sir, it is same because when i take the invertible matrix p i mean when i when we diagonalize this when we take invertible matrix p we choose the column vectors as eigenvectors 
so if we change the eigen vectors i mean if we make a permutation on the eigen vectors and if we choose in a different way uh, the invertible matrix p then we will get it so both are actually similar then sir told yes it is correct then he told me to do this thing same for glnc and similarly i do it because since glnc and since it has ordered two everything then x square minus one equal to zero so minimal polynomial must divide it and similar concept since it is diagonalizable so it is enough to show number of diagonal matrix satisfies this condition because every diagonal matrix represents a conjugacy class now since it is asking about order two elements so we should remove the diagonal matrix with diagonal entries all one okay so we should take at least one diagonal entries with minus one so minus one can be uh, n many times minus one can be n minus one many times two minus one can be one times so there are ex there are exactly n distinct conjugacy classes of order two in glnc and this is true for glnr also that told me yes this is correct very good now do this same thing for finite field jp you know jp is the finite field of characteristic p i told you yes sir now do this same thing for jp where characteristic p is not equal to 2 i told you since characteristic p not equal to 2 so 1 and minus 1 are distinct so x square minus 1 has two different root and same concept we can use and so answer is same answer is n now sir asked me okay then what about p equal to 2 in that case your minimal polynomial and uh, i mean in that case your characteristic uh, annihilating polynomial will change right because x square minus 1 that will imply it is same as x square minus 2x plus 1 since characteristic equal to 0 sorry characteristic equal to 2 so 2x equal to 2 so you have your mat you, you you have your annihilating polynomial x minus 1 whole square so minimal polynomial is either x minus 1 whole square or x minus 1 so if, if you need not to consider x minus 1 because x minus 1 minimal polynomial imply it is identity matrix so we since we are taking uh, order two element we are considering order two element so you can remove it set told then sir ask me what now how do you claim on how to do it then he asked me that do you know jordan canonical form then he asked me do you know jordan canonical form i told yes sir i know um, then he gave me hint they gave me hint that okay think about it jordan block uh, then i told yes sir since uh, uh, minimal polynomial is x minus one whole square so jord correspond jordan block corresponding to the matrix must be either two cross two jordan block or one cross one jordan block so since conjugacy class means uh, number of similarity class if a and b are conjugate that means in linear algebra i mean that means in case of matrix we can say a and b are similar and we know that any two matrix are similar if and only if their corresponding corresponding jordan canonical form is same so if we can i mean if we can calculate number of distinct uh, possible jordan canonical form under this condition then it is enough Sir told me yes it is correct now start your process then i told since it has exactly since it has exactly uh, i mean e, e, uh, since the minimal polynomial is has degree 2 and is x minus 1 whole square so all the jordan blocks is either 2 cross 2 or uh, 1 cross 1 jordan block corresponding to the eigenvalue 1 so if so it is enough to consider number of 2 by 2 jordan blocks because if we can choose number of 2 by 2 jordan blocks other jordan blocks will be 1 by 1 jordan blocks and so i tell that if n is even then number of distinct conjugacy class must be n minus 2 and if n is odd the number of distinct conjugacy class should be n minus 1 by 2 and so i told yes this is correct so good very good you did it very nice then one professor asked me do you know multivariate calculus uh, i told yes sir i know 
then he asked me okay tell the definition of a differentiable map from rn to rm so i told the definition of a differentiable map then he asked me to tell the definition of a directional derivative i told then ask me is f let f from R, rn square to r be a map such that f of a a be a matrix f of a equal to determinant of a is this map differentiable so i told yes sir this is differentiable because determinant map is basically a polynomial in n square variable we know if any polynomial is any polynomial is infinitely many different infinitely many times differentiable so uh, f of a equal to determinant of a it is differentiable then he asked me okay so now take to set up all 2 by 2 matrix set up all 2 by 2 matrix you can think uh, 2 by 2 matrix as an element of r4 so f is from r4 to r f of a equal to determinant of a find derivatives of a so i just take it uh, r r4 element as x1 x2 x3 x4 and since determinant is basically x1 x3 minus x2 x4 then i find this is polynomial so partial derivatives are continuous so i can make it in in terms of jacobian matrix so i make it in a in jacobian matrix and told them told him then he asked me okay this is this is computational way but can you think it in a different way Uh, in terms of directional derivative so i could not think it at that time then he asked me okay uh, now you you generalize it rn square from r so i tried a little bit but i could not complete since n square th this is n square variable so i could not tell what is the exact uh, form of the jacobian matrix then he told me, yes uh, it's okay uh, you should think it later uh, using directional derivative that would be easy i told you okay sir then he asked me do you know poisson set topology matrix space i i told yes sir i know matrix space completely and also i know poisson set topology well then 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 one thing is that uh, since when uh, i am applying cmi examination there was a column that he uh, if whether i have any success uh, record so in that uh, in that case i i mean in that form i mentioned I mean, in my application form i mentioned that i secured i have secured all india rank 8 in iit jam 2023 so one professor told me um, you did a very nice job in iit jam 2023 you secured um, all india rank 8 so you definitely get iit bombay for your masters program Uh, then so why are you giving uh, why are you uh, choosing cmi then mm, i know that if i got selected in cmi i definitely will not choose it uh, because i already got the upper mumbai at that time but uh, i just tell that uh, uh, that uh, sir uh, after class 12 cmi was my uh, i mean cmi was my dream but i was not good enough at that time so i did not uh, take admission i mean i mean i did i cannot could not be able to get admission here so my dream was to get par, get a part in cmi so that's why i gave, came here to give the interview so i told people okay that's nice you can leave now so the interview session was almost 45 to 50 minutes it was okay so these are the questions so i feel that the linear algebra question seems to be new uh, to me because i gave many interview and also i see lots of interview but these questions i mean this type of questions was completely new to me so but i was happy since i could give the answer of this questions and also the professors were so much happy when they saw that i did answers of this question very well so this was the uh, entire scenario of my interview experience i hope this will help you uh, in your interview also in your masters interview as well as your phd interview so thank you